Hello, my name is Carlene. I'm one of the park rangers here at First Peoples Buffalo Jump State Park. Today we are going to learn about what it took to make parflesh and how it was used by the Plains Indian. We will also make a small bag that you can use to store different items in. Parflesh is a Native American rawhide container that is most exclusively made by women from hides taken from the deer, elk, and most commonly bison. The name parflesh came from the voyagers and fur traders referring to the size and shape and durability of the untanned skin which comes in all shapes and sizes and is used for a wide variety of items such as bags, thongs, and also war shields. The hide was stretched by staking it on the ground or in a rack of wood and scraped to an even thickness with a bone tool fashioned into a chisel for fleshing. I had staked down a piece of par flesh on this piece of wood. You do one side first while it's still wet and you stretch it and then stake the other side down and let it dry. A wash prepared a prickly pear cactus juice or animal glue was applied for protection before the par flesh was painted. So you would put that wash on here before you even added your paint. The envelope shaped par flesh were used mostly for household tools or food such as dried meat, pannikin, and were mostly made in pairs which hung on both sides of the animals carrying it. The pouch and tubular par fleshes were used to store fire starting items, personal items, headdresses, and many other uses. The natural paints that were used before the 1800s along with quill work came from charcoal for black, algae for green, yellow ochre for red. Europeans, when they came to this country, brought dye with them, trading it with the Native Americans who acquired the dye and also had a larger selection of colors to use. Having a limited time to paint the par flesh design, they worked with boldness and expertise as revisions were not possible once the dye was applied. Once the paint was dried, the women would dehair the opposite side using a stoning method and cut the par flesh to shape using a flint or metal knife. The cut hide was folded into its chosen shape and holes were cut or burned so leather ties or laces could be added to close and seal the bag. This rawhide container was used by a variety of plains people. In the bag that you can pick up at the First People's Buffalo Jump is a small booklet showing you how to make a rawhide par flesh bag. To begin with, you soak the par flesh or the rawhide in water until it softens up. Then you want to stretch it on a board as shown here. Once it's dry, you can fold it to the shape that you want. And you also, that's when you mark for your holes and you use a leather punch to make the holes in it. This is one that I did. I didn't complete it all the way so I could show you how it goes together. It's, I painted it, and then I punched this both sides with the leather punch. And then you put this felt on there and you mark it where the holes are. And you also use the leather punch where you can punch the holes in the felt too. And you just fold it over and you have your strings, leather strings, and you thread it through the holes like this and you tie it. And then you have your ties for the front to close it, and you also have ties in the back so you could tie it on your belt. This will be a good little project for the parents and the children. 
Also in the bag are instructions and cardstock to make your own paper parflesh bag. And you start by cutting this out with your scissors. Once you get that cut out, you'll notice you, the two sides, one side's got the dots on it, holes, and the other side is plain. You want to paint your design on the plain side, like this. So once you get the plain side painted, you turn it over and you want to punch the holes in it. You've got your painted side, got the holes, and next you want to fold it. So you fold it over carefully up the sides fold one side in and fold the other side in and there you have your little part flesh bag and you can close this with yarn or even a piece of string Well, thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you out at the park to pick up your package for your parflesh bags. Also, join us next week with Ranger Nina as she tells you and shows you how to prepare and cook native foods.